Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, looking at um, Spectrum Plus Two um, today. Um, I've got another one here, which I'll just show you. Um, the two um, with this job lot I bought. This one's fine. Tested this. I've had the old the uh, uh, ultra saying that I've had the uh, Div IDE connected to it. Loaded a bunch of games, no problems at all. Um, it just needs a bit of a clean um, tape deck. Uh, perhaps the belt swapping out service and stuff. But there's nothing really wrong with that one. But this this one. Uh, if I just show you, if I just connect the power jack, no LED. And if I wiggle the power jack around, it comes on, but there's no video out now. I'm trying to use a composite lead, so I might need to do the mod there with the transistor uh, round the wrong way with respect to collector and emitter. Um, so that could be why there's no video coming out, but clearly, you know, there's a loose power socket there, so um, we need to do something with that. And we'll just check the insides of it while we're there as well, I think. So I've got the lid off, um, it's looking a bit dirty, you know, you can see here there's a load of dirt and stuff on there and the, the PCB edge is just going to need cleaning up on both sides. Um, so I'll give this a bit of a brush down, a uh, vacuum I think, and then wipe uh, the edge down with some uh, isoprop and stuff. Um, yeah, and we'll have a look at the solder, that, that jack underneath there, because I've got the feeling it's, uh, yeah, you can see it's just wobbling around. It uh, needs fitting on there properly, I think, with some fresh solder. Right, well I've resoldered the power connector, you can see it's at a bit of a funny angle, it's, that socket has been damaged so it doesn't, you know, it's, it's not straight and it's quite hard to get the connector in, so I think I'm going to replace that, but for the moment it's working, the way I've resoldered it, it's working, it just doesn't look right and it's not right, so I will replace that. Um, still nothing on the screen, I've swapped uh, the, that transistor um, alignment around there with regards to uh, emitter and collector, it was around the wrong way on this issue 3 um, spectrum. Um, uh, according to the transistor that's in there, I forget what it is now, I did, did double check it, it's more like a 2N3904 or something I think, um, something like that, um, it's definitely right, I did check it, I just can't remember the part number, um, but then I did some more measurements and I measured some of the voltages on these um, uh, serial uh, receiver and you know, transceiver chips here, um, and um, I couldn't find 12 volts, so I started sort of looking around here and doing some measurements around here, and again, I couldn't find um, 12 volts, so I think it's lacking 12 volts here. I think that's what the, the problem is with this. Um, whether it's a direct result of this arcing, I don't know. Um, it's certainly possible, um, you know, as people have been you know, trying to get the power connected to work. Um, no idea. Um, there could be other faults with this. But that's where I'm at the moment. So I'm just looking at this part of the circuit diagram here. And this isn't going to come out very well, um, but... Um, I think it's page 7 of the um, service manual for the plus 2. Um, you can see here you've got that transformer T1 um, and there's a transistor there and I measured um, around there and I could see 10 volts on one side that may well be the base but there's nothing on the collector or emitter or very very low voltage there. So I'm going to check all the components around there and just do some more measurements and things but there's something very strange going on and obviously I should have minus 5 down here I'm guessing that's going to be missing as well. Um, so I can put a meter on various tests at various points here on these components and at least try and backtrack here and see what's going on. But I've definitely got five volts, that that's for sure. Um, but I'm suspect I'm suspecting TR9. I'm suspecting that uh, ZTX650. I did quickly go over the diodes here on the uh, diode test, and all of these diodes seem okay to me. Um, I need to check the two resistors uh, there. Um, but I'm suspecting that transistor there, uh, it's a ZTX650 I think, so I'll just get my meter on that and have a look. Yeah, here we go, it is this, it's this ZTX650, um, I'll show you what I did, if you measure on one side of this um, capacitor here, I think it's C24, uh, which corresponds with uh, this position here on the diagram, uh, sorry it's not very um, good print off that, it's um, very small, um, yeah, C24, you should on the negative side of that you should have um, yeah look at that you should have minus 5 volts and we had minus 2.5 volts um, and after it just been on for I, I did check the plus 5 plus 5's there that's fine um, and checking the um, around th that transistor I think on the base I had um, 10 volts roughly there which yeah that would uh, and on the um, collector uh, I'm not sure the base is right, but anyway, we've got two pins shorted. It, certainly, we've got nine volts coming in there. Looks like it's onto the collector to me. Um, I can't really tell because that it's not very clear on that diagram. But anyway, if we look at this transistor, uh, I'll just show you. 
Uh, I'm going to order one of these now because clearly this is the fault. Um, meet us on diode test. Uh, and I haven't checked the pin out for this transistor, uh, so I'm not sure whether it's NPN or PNP, um, which one's base collector and emitter. But you'll see we've got a short between those two pins. I'll measure the other way. We've got a short. So we've got a short between whatever those two are there. Um, there's a diode reading that way and a diode reading that way. So this appears to have failed in multiple ways here. Um, hopefully it's not done any more damage to the um, the circuit circuit there in general. I mean I have measured, I'll just double check now, but I did measure earlier the diodes and things in there. Um, they all seem to be okay. I think there's a Zener there. Mm, yeah, I'll just double check that one as well. But um, looks like it's that transistor, so I'll order one of these now. So I'll just show you some of the other checks you can do here, um, well, checks that I've done. Um, firstly, there's this um, inductor here, this uh, little transformer. Um, if we measure across that, that, that we've got about 5 ohms, um, nothing between there, which is what I'd expect, because I think this is the input, that's the output, could be the wrong way around. Um, yeah, 3 meg there, that's fine. Um, and if we check between, I think the primary windings have got about 5 ohms, and then about the same on the output. So on the secondary side, so um, I don't think there's um, any problems there at all with the transformer. Um, if we just turn, turn this over, uh, something was getting hot, like I said, I could smell it. it. Didn't last very long, and I think it was that transistor because when I measured that transistor originally, there was nothing on uh, one of the uh, two of the pins, it was just 10, 10 volts on one side. And then the next minute, just after a few seconds of it heating up, suddenly um, two of the pins had t roughly 10 volts on, and one of them had nothing on, um, and then the smell stopped. So I think that transistor went. Um, but if we look at um, these diodes here, so I've got it on diode uh, test mode here, um, and it should show the approximate uh, voltage uh, required to make it switch. There you go, 492. Um, and I've tested these both ways round just to make sure you get a very high, there you go, it's like an infinite sort of, you know, very high in the megs range the opposite way. Um, there you go, it's switching that way. Let's check that one, that's switching that way. Um, and the voltages are all very similar on these, uh, which is what you would expect. Yeah, 494, I mean these aren't even part of the circuit here but you know you can see um, they're okay, these 104, 148's I think they're 602, that's okay for one of those I think 588, let's just double check the other way around, yeah nothing nothing, so uh, I mean, I've checked these resistors around here as well, they're all, all okay so yeah, I would think that it's probably just that transistor there is another transistor somewhere here um, can't for the life of me see it now, if I just look back at the diagram uh, let me just look back at the diagram maybe there's only one, maybe I'm imagining things um, yeah there's one for earlier on in the power supply circuit there which is TR5 is it, or TR6, I can't really tell from the diagram this is ZTX213 um, oh god I can't see that, is that TR6? I can't see the damn thing um, I'm not sure, it could be that, that one there, it could be TR8 yeah, that other one of the diagrams, that one there, and I guess I should have guessed from the package, if you look, it's slightly different to these, this one's, and it's another one of these ZTX um, transistors, it's a 213, I think, a ZTX uh, 213, um, so it's TR8, um, so I'm just going to check um, this transistor, just to make sure we don't appear to have any shorts there, um, I suspect not, but you never know, uh, if I'm going to order one transistor, um, may as well rule this one out as well just in case I have to order one of each uh, yeah that's looking right to me that's looking right to me right so we've got a replacement transistor in there now um, you can see this um, if I just power this on you'll see it's working so I just want to quickly just measure the voltages here now if we look on the side of that cap there yeah you go right you can see the meter now so uh, yeah we just check a few voltages on here now so um, now I've got this transistor in there if we check that side of that cap there we've got minus five volts that's correct if I now check I think it's pin one of the uh, 1488 Minus 13. That's that's right. That's okay. It's, uh, I think if you watch one of Jules um, Jules per Columns videos, and this is Jules Verne, then Jules per Columns videos, um, you'll see that um, it's a little bit more on the negative than the positive. Um, 
just looking around to see if I can find a plus, plus 12 somewhere. Um, sorry, knocking it out of shots again. Ah, there we go, plus 12. So that's okay, you know, and you know, if you look at the screen, it's oh, sorry, I'm stuck on bleeding wires now. Um, you can see it's working fine. So there we go. Um, that was uh, the, the solution to that one. Um, I'll reassemble this all, clean it all up. Uh, yeah, all that from one little transistor. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.